Today I'm in SEOwriting.ai, and SEOwriting.ai is a tool that I use quite a bit. So what I wanted to show you today is the bulk article generation tool. Let's go ahead and hop right into it and take a look. In the opening screen of SEOwriting.ai, you can either do a one-click blog post, you can do bulk article generation, you can do a standard blog post in their step-by-step -step format, product roundups, product reviews, product lists, how-to guides, and, the, and they have a simple editor as well. In this case, we're going to jump right into bulk article generation. And just note the bulk generate will create up to 100 articles in one batch and publish to WordPress if you have WordPress uh, associated with your seowriting.ai account. Click on bulk article generation and we'll go into that screen. We can take a look and see what's here. It does differ somewhat from uh, a single article generation because you're going to be putting in your main keywords, your titles, and all the NLP keywords here. So the NLP keywords can either be generated by seowriting.ai or I'll show you how I get them out of another tool. Once you've done that, you've got all your core settings and your structures and so on. The big deal with the bulk article generation is there's some interesting things you can do here. For example, I probably would not generate articles this way, but I want to show it to you because you can. Let's say you put a seed keyword in here uh, like gravel biking and just say generate. What it's going to do, it's going to return uh, a variety of keywords that are all associated with gravel bikes. Now, you know, some of these might be worth writing about. I don't know for sure. But you could do that. Maybe you have such an underserved niche that you know that any keyword that you write an article about related to that niche is going to rank. This could be useful to you. Then it will generate all of the article titles. I'm on a Safari browser. I get a message that say I've reached a rate limit, but just ignore it if you're in Safari. It'll go ahead and generate the titles. And then another thing, it'll generate all the NLP keywords and phrases as well. So off it goes. It finds, it's searching through the SERPs. It's finding these and putting these NLP keywords together for you. This would be the absolute quickest way to use bulk article generation for putting this data in. Now, like I said, you may or may not choose to do this. I probably would not. What I would do, reload the page, the way that I would do this is I would go in and I would use a tool like, I really like keywords people use. I put in a query called, what are the benefits of gravel cycling? And then here is where I get my keywords that I would add into the bulk generation tool in SEO writing. Let's say, I decided to do an article on this keyword, what is gravel biking? Notice I'm a Neuron Writer. Neuron Writer is the SEO optimization tool that I use. I have links to all the tools mentioned in this video in the description. A uh, little bit of housekeeping, I'm an affiliate for all of these. So if you do happen to make a purchase, you know, I'm gonna get a small commission. So with that out of the way, I chose what is gravel biking. I had Neuron Writer do a content query. And so when it does a content query, what I can do is then create a title. I'm just going to go ahead and go with their title. I'm going to go with whatever description they put together. That's the meta description. I'm going to save and close this. The key thing that you're going to be using out of Neuron Writer is the title, but you're also going to be using all of these NLP keyword terms and phrases that Neuron Writer pulls back. I'm going to go out to Google Docs here and get these ready to use in, in SEO writing so you can see how this works. So I've got my Google Doc ready. I'm going to go in. I'm going to copy all of these NLP terms, grab this list of terms, go back over to Google Docs, get this prepared to put into SEO writing. And I just want the basic and extended terms. If you haven't seen Neuron Writer before, I have a variety of different videos on Neuron Writer. Check those out. It is an excellent tool for SEO optimization. I highly recommend that you use some kind of SEO optimization tool to help with your Google search rankings. Get rid of this. Okay, so now I've got my list of terms. Like I said, we're going to use this keyword. What is gravel biking? Grab it. Copy it, go over to the bulk generation tool, drop in that main keyword, back over here, grab our title, drop it in. And so now we're ready to enter our NLP keywords and key phrases. Remember when I was in Google Docs, 
it was this long list that I ended up putting in. But what I typically do is I grab this list, copy it, and then I take it over to Claude AI. And here we are in Claude. So what I do is I just say, comma, separate this list and copy that in and Claude will make a comma separated list of this for us because when you are using bulk article generation your NLP key words and key phrases need to be comma separated when you uh, put those in so we grab this comma separated list grab it go back over to SEO writing and boom there we go and this is essentially what you would do then when you want to add another keyword just put the cursor back up in the main keyword box hit enter and now you can add another keyword. So here you would just enter another keyword, your the title for the blog, and the NLP keywords and key phrases here. Now, the way that I would do this is many times when I'm using Neuron Writer, I will do like 10 or 15 content queries for a particular blog that I'm working on. So rather than go in and, and do what I just showed you, I think the best way to do this is to import all of these from Excel. But let me go ahead and just clear this. And basically what you would do is you could go into Google Sheets, for example, and just put together a simple sheet. So the first column, that's going to be your long tail keywords or whatever keywords that you want to use for your articles. Column B is going to be your titles. Column C is going to be all of the NLP keywords. I would set this up, you know, do 10 or 15 articles like this, just get it all set up. So once you've saved this and downloaded the spreadsheet, you can just go over to SEO writing, do import from Excel, grab that, upload it, and now everything's in there and ready to go. If you are doing multiple content queries out of Neuron Writer or Surfer SEO or some other tool, again, I'd set it up in, a, in Google Sheets or Excel or whatever you have as a spreadsheet program that can output to an Excel file format and then do an import from Excel for the bulk article generation. Now, once you've got everything in here, you've got all of your keywords, all of your titles, all of your NLP keywords and phrases like you see here. Then you simply go down and fill in the rest. Then you have your course settings. In this case, for, for me, I'm choosing English. I'm going to keep the article size at a medium. That's 2,400 to 3,600 words. Because you're doing this bulk article generation, the article sizes may differ based on what keyword you put in. But in general, I just stick with medium when I'm doing this bulk article generation. Uh, I use whatever tone of voice you want to use. Typically, uh, I like to use a casual tone of voice. That has a tendency to give me a better Hemingway score, point of view. That's up to you. So you may use first person if you're going to go in and edit these articles and add your own first person point of view. If they're more informational and, and you're just going to go in and amend the article with whatever you know expertise and knowledge you have of your niche, you may go third person. Target country, again, you know your audience. For me, I'm going to do United States. Then you have to pick the language model that you want this to generate in. Now, typically what I've been doing is generating in the GPT-4 128K Turbo. Now, this uses seven times more words, so it will use more of your word credits, but the articles will be much higher quality. When you're using GPT-4 128K Turbo, it's going through and finding more recent information on your topics. So this is an interesting feature here, details to include. If you put something in here, it's going to put information under your H1, and it's going to be for every one of your articles. For bulk article generation, you're probably never going to use details to include. In fact, somebody asked me about this particular feature the other day, and I talked to the developer of SEO writing. This is really more, in my opinion, something you'd use for a local SEO type article. So if you were a landscaper and you wanted to make sure you had your phone number listed in the H1, H1, this is where you would put it. But for just general purpose articles, informational type articles for your blog posts, that's not something that you need to be concerned with. So I would skip over that. For Media Hub, again, you want images. If you do want them, you're going to say yes. You're going to say how many images you want in each article. In this case, you know, 
If it's a medium sized article, I'd probably have five images. Choose your image style, we'll just say photo. Typically, this 16 9 image aspect ratio is the best for blogs. You can decide whether you want to have YouTube videos, and if you do, how many. You can adjust the layout options so you can alternate images and videos, or you could have first just images, then videos, whatever you choose. Now, the other thing to look at is if you click this checkbox, all the media elements will be placed strictly under the headings in the article. I usually leave it unchecked, but that's up to you. You can determine where you want to have your images and YouTube videos show up. For this introductory hook brief, I would leave this alone because really this is something that you'd want to use if you're doing a single article and generating an article that way rather than in bulk because you don't want this to apply to every article that you have that you're writing in bulk in most cases. Maybe there's a time when you would, but in this case, I would leave it alone. I would just go in and as you edit those articles and look for places to put in your own personal point of view, you can do that in the introduction for each one that's generated. If you want a conclusion, you can have that, tables, H3s, lists, italics, quotations, key takeaways, FAQ, I don't know if I'd have an FAQ for every article that I'm doing in bulk, but you can if you want. You can have those NLP keywords bolded. That usually adds some visual interest to the article, makes it easier to scan, and makes it easier for people to find what it is that they want to read about. I would definitely connect to web so it's pulling in as much factual information as possible. You can decide whether you want to show source links in each article or not. We'll just say no. You can determine whether you want to publish to WordPress. I don't happen to use WordPress. I use something called Ghost. So I wouldn't use publish to WordPress, but you certainly can if you want to. But once you've set that up, then you would just go in and hit run. All of these articles will then be written for you. You can go away, come back later, and then decide how much editing you want to do on each document. Now, I will say this about any AI-generated article from any tool. I don't care if it's seowriting.ai. I use Koala Writer a lot. I don't care if it's Koala Writer and Agility Writer. Those are the three tools that I have the most experience with. I will tell you all three of them need you to do some editing. You know your niche better than anybody else and you want to put your own unique spin on the articles that you create that differentiates you from other blogs and it definitely differentiates you from blogs that are just spewing out AI written content only. So that's just my take on it. You know, what you decide to do is up to you. Here we are in the pricing page for seowriting.ai. You can either do build monthly, you can do build yearly. So make sure that you use the link in the description for this video and my discount code. That's going to get you 25% off of your seowriting.ai account. So make sure and, and use that so you get that discount. But note, you can either get an account with 100,000 words per month, 500,000. You can see the pricing differences here. If you're writing a ton of content, $129 a month, two and a half million words. Obviously, if you do the build monthly versus build yearly, you're going to pay more. Let's say you go with a 500,000 word account. You can generate up to 250 articles, up to 500,000 words. You've got one-click blog post generation, bulk generation. They have an AI-powered SEO mode. If you haven't seen my other videos on SEO writing, I strongly recommend you go out and take a look at those. That'll answer some of the questions that may be popping into your head right now about the tool. I've got plenty of other content out there for you to look at. Again, YouTube videos can be embedded, connect to web, outline editor, and even if you just come in at 100,000 words, all of those tools are still available for you there as well. That's it. That's how you do bulk article generation with seowriting.ai. I hope that you found this video useful. And make sure and like and subscribe. And until next time, take care.